If Joram and Valentina Womo had a baby, this would be it. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Josephine and on this channel we talk about fragrances. Today's video is about an underrated, sexy fragrance for men that is super affordable. It is under $30. And it is just an incredible scent. It is L'Homme by Emmanuel Ungaro. So I will be reviewing this perfume today. But before we get into the video, I wanted to remind you guys that I will be present at Scent Explorer, which is a fragrance event that will be taking place virtually this year, which means that all of you can attend and enjoy some really nice presentations of niche brands, discover some new brands, and also meet content creators like myself. So if you're interested in joining this event, make sure you register at the link that I will put in the info box. So there will be a cap of 3000 people who can join this event live. So make sure you sign up quickly because spots are being filled really fast. So if you're interested in all things fragrance and you love fragrances, definitely check out the link about Scent Explore that's in the description box down below. The event will be taking place as well on the 5th of December, which is a Saturday, and I hope that I'll be able to meet some of you there. All right, with that in mind, let's get back to the review for today, which is about L'Homme by Emmanuel Ungaro. In my opinion, this is the new sexy kid on the block. It isn't a new fragrance, but no one is talking about it and it's really affordable. And the first fragrance that came to mind when I smelt this perfume was the original Dior um, Eau de Toilette, which you know that I love and that is becoming increasingly difficult to find because of the new version that they launched this year. Ultimately, I wouldn't say L'Homme by Emmanuel Ungaro is a dupe for the Dior fragrance. However, it does have a Dior um, vibe, which makes this perfume extremely attractive. But as I said at the beginning of the video, this to me is really a hybrid between Dior um, Eau de Toilette and Valentino Womo. So both of these fragrances are really sexy powerhouses for men. Both Dior Homme and Valentino Romo are really safe bets, especially if you like your sweeter, more gourmand, deeper fragrances that are very sexy. Those two perfumes are really great. And if you do like those two fragrances, I can guarantee you that you will love this perfume, L'Homme by Emmanuel Ungaro. So what does this fragrance really smell like? Well, it smells very fresh and spicy in the opening with a pop of fruit and specifically peach. And the way that the peach is done in the scent is it's more of a fuzzy skin of peach, more so than say a syrupy sweetness of peach that you can find say in Tom Ford Bitter Peach. It's definitely softer and more toned down in the scent, yet still adds a pop of color and playfulness. You also get quite a bit of lavender that peeks through white from the beginning and some iris, which is what makes this fragrance very reminiscent to the scent of Dior Homme. As it develops on your skin, it becomes very powdery. And this is why it reminds me of Womo by Valentino. So it's the original Womo that is extremely powdery, I find. And I tested those two on my skin. And to be fair, the dry down is almost identical to the original Womo. In addition, it also has a bit of Womo intense feels from this scent. So yes, it has a powderiness and likability of Womo original, but it also has the depth and intensity of Womo Intense, that depth of sweetness, a bit of leather, but it's not gonna give you car seat vibes, <laughs> not at all, but it has that intensity. So if you like those two fragrances, definitely check out Emmanuel Ungaro Lum. So I would say for the juice, if I had to rate it, I would give it a four out of five. It is a really great crafted juice for the price of the scent. In terms of performance, you get moderate projection from this fragrance. It's not one that is going to be super duper intoxicating or strong. So projection is moderate and it will stay on your skin around eight hours. So you get decent longevity with the scent, but it's not one that is going to leave an insane scent trail. 
So if you are looking for a fragrance that is mega powerful, that is similar to Dior Homme and Womo, and that's affordable, but you want something that is very strong, this isn't gonna give you that strength factor. It's gonna stay a little bit closer to your skin, yet still noticeable. So for that reason, I will rate the performance a three out of five. And now, what about the likability? Well, I think that this fragrance is super likable. Personally, I'm a fan of the Dior Homme range, the original Dior Homme Eau de Toilette, the Dior Homme Intense, and I also really enjoy the Womo by Valentino fragrances. And a lot of women enjoy them too, and men as well. So I would say, because it's similar to those two fragrances, likability factor, I would say it's a four out of five. As for the packaging, with this fragrance, I find that the packaging is quite unique. So you can't tell here, but the surface of this blue bottle is a little bit gritty. It's very interesting. It's sort of like gritty like stone. I've never seen this on a, a fragrance bottle before, so definitely unique. And you also get a sticker here that has this metallic effect. The sticker is quite thick, so it doesn't look cheap at all. And then you have the metal, uh, metallic-like cap. Now one thing to know is that this isn't a metal cap, it's plastic, if you can hear it. And I find the plastic quite cheap. Ugh, yeah, I'm not a fan of the plastic, but all in all, I think the bottle looks quite good. The atomizer is really good. Um, you get solid diffusion of the fragrance. Um, yeah, very good. But because of this plastic cap, yeah, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan. I would say this is a three out of five. As for the price, I think for the quality of the juice that you're gonna get with this fragrance and the price, which is under $25, to me, this is a five out of five. This is a really solid, cheapy perfume, which I would recommend to you gentlemen if you're looking for a casual yet sexy fragrance that you can wear every day because this perfume is very versatile as well. All four seasons, just really great all-rounder, solid, cheapy perfume that is very affordable. Price is to me a five out of five. And finally, what about the age groups? Like who is this perfume best suited for? I find that because it has this little bit of peach and pop of color, it feels more youthful than say your Dior Homme, than your Valentino Uomo. I would recommend this fragrance for early 20s to 30s. So would I recommend this fragrance? That's a big question, right? Yes, I would 100% recommend this fragrance. So that was my review on L'Homme by Emmanuel Ungaro. I hope that you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this fragrance. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.